myself Pie Queen and welcome back to Dragon Quest 9. Last time I arrived here in All Trades Abbey and uh, between last time and this time I did a little bit of grinding so as you can see my whole party are level 15. Actually I should probably heal a bit first, they're actually looking a little bit low on health. Um, but I don't think I got any quests or anything because I literally just got here. Um, so I'll do that now, but let me just heal up. Okay, Snappy's doing alright, and... Um, actually, I'll heal Snappy one more time in case we do have to go to battle. Because the monsters in this area do, I don't know, a fair bit of damage. I don't even know if level 15 is enough in terms of grinding, but hopefully I should be okay for now. Anyway, cutscene. This isn't the same mare that we had in Coppermore, by the way. It's a different one, just with the same art. Look what's going on, eh? Some of us came half around, halfway around the world for this change of vocation, you know? Oh, I spend in what few coins I had to pay for this ear trip here. And now you're saying we can't change trades after and all? Some of these people have really weird, um, dialects. <laughs> It was so tough for real stick like me to get here, you know, and I did it to fulfill my lifelong dream of becoming a maid. Just by the way, you can't become a maid once you unlock vocations. So I'm not budging from the spot until I've got my little pretty dress and a feather duster in my hand. Alright, old man, calm down. I can only apologise to you all. Abba Jack is absent at present. If you could all just wait a little... How long have you been fobbing us off for that, eh? We'll be standing here next year if we believe you're rubbish. I really am most dreadfully sorry. I implore you to be patient just a while longer. Okay, so there is trouble because the abbot has gone missing. And now it is time to let us pass. Right, tell us, what's the deal? Uh, let's just say yes. I'm sorry, but the abbot is not here at present. No vocation changes can take place without him here to perform the ceremony. I'm sure we'll determine he can, so please be patient. Right. We have searched in all the obvious places for the abbot, but he's nowhere to be found. The abbot appears to be troubled by something at the moment. I have no idea what it could be, though. So, the abbot is missing, whether he's gone into hiding or whether he's been abducted. We don't know, but let's just have a snoop around the area because we can. This is quite a pretty area though, I must say. I came here with the intention of giving up the old buying and selling game, but people keep asking me for things. I bet you're the same, aren't you? It's a good job I brought my words with the then, isn't it? So we can buy stuff. I'm guessing this is just general, yeah. So, um, I mean, I should probably look into getting some better equipment for my party, but right now, it's not the time. Plus you should probably buy from weapon stores as opposed to just general good vendors. Uh, the abbot should be, oh, okay, he should have had his lunch, but he hasn't, and I wonder what's become of the abbot then, eh? People say he's not the sort of bloke who would just run off for no reason. Uh, welcome. Okay, so this is like a, a spa kind of place, I want to say. I mean, it's got water in it. You could swim here, I guess. I was a maid until now, but I thought it was time I trained my body as well as my mind so I became a martial artist. Like Snappy. I'm dead lucky that I managed to change my vocation before the abbot went missing. Okay, can we go in here? This is the inn. Now to practice my bow, let's see. Face bowy squarely, then bend from the waist to an angle of 45 de- Oh, hang on! Face those this weird technicalities. What was it? A sign bow to a direction with a sign party tricks. Then blah 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 blah. I didn't see that. I was just practicing my blau, my my blau, my bow from when I met with Abbot Jack. So I'm assuming he's not going to teach us it. A springtime skate. That's nice. I wonder if it's useful. What? Did you just jump? I've been running around looking for the abbot and I haven't slept a wink. Let a man have some rest, would you? I swear you just jumped. Genuinely. Was that a? <laughs> okay, no books. I wonder if there's any books in this one. And no. It's just become a habit to check the bookshelves. I don't know what it is. Anyway, there's in there if you want to sleep. If not, then that's great too. Um, so there's something down here then. I guess it's just a shop and an inn. I guess that's the purpose of this bit. <sighs> right, where could it be? Let's ask these three. 
Uh, farm, change locations, blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm guessing he's a farmer because of his hat and his attire, but oh, yes. Uh, but it ain't gonna happen, the abbots skip town, so no one's changing nothing. I'm not budging from the spot until I get turned into a maid. Okay. So, farmer, I'm guessing this is like. A sh uh, I don't know. He looks like one of the guys that's near like ships and stuff, and obviously the standard old guy. Um, okay, so I guess. None? Um, okay, we cannot. Okay. This is a place to blah blah blah, but unfortunately at the moment we are unable to help them. Well, uh, well, where am I supposed to go now? Hang on, is there? There must be somewhere else in all trades, uh, other than, you know, just the abbey. Maybe I have to say no. You're searching for, oh, I just have to talk to him again. You're searching for a shining fruit, you say. Well, as it happens, Abba Jack was given a fruit that might match the description by someone who came looking for a change of vocation. I think the person is in question. I think the person in question is still in the abbey somewhere. Ask around, and perhaps you'll find out. So, who would know about a golden fruit? I'm gonna go around and check downstairs because this is still part of the abbey. Um, did you see one? Did you try and sell one? Um, nope. I don't want anything. Do you know anything about this fruit? Nope, not you either. Do you know anything about the fruit? I mean, you're a chef. Aha! Hmm, a shining fruit, you say? Well, I'd like to dabble in a few unusual items, but I don't have anything like that. You should ask the maid. Okay. So, maid, pardon, shining fruit? Well, yes. The abbot had one of them with him when he came into lunch the other day. He's very partial to his fruit, you know. I hope he didn't eat it. He likes to have fruit for dessert, so I peeled it and gave it to him after he'd finished his main meal. He told me they'd been given... It by a man who wanted to change his vocation and become a martial artist. So, they've only gone and eaten the sacred fruit that we need. Now what? Uh, I'm guessing it's this guy over here then, because he became a martial artist. What is it? You need something from me? Yes, give me the fruit! Have I seen a shining fruit? Yes, I have. As it happens, I gave a fruit like that to the abbot. I picked it up on the way over here. I heard the abbot was crazy about fruit, so I thought it might help things along. I don't know what he did with it after I gave it to him. I saw him talking to the barmaid in the pub, but that's about it. Barmaid in the pub. Well, was that not just the maid that I spoke to? Um... Let's go back. Barn Oh my goodness, okay. Right, so, is he going to say anything else? Barmaid. Yeah, tell me more. Have I, okay, he's not going to tell me anything else, is he? Did he say something that I missed? Well, that is the barmaid, isn't it? I mean, that's just the maid. Okay, well, that's not a maid, that's a nun and a priest. Maybe I have to talk to the guy at the bar again, even though... He's not a maid. Hmm. So, do you see anything else? Nope. Okay, so... I know that the maid's got the fruit, or at least that she had the fruit, but she gave it to the abbot, he wasn't here. So, where do I go next, do you say? Okay. Oh god. Shut up, man. I didn't see you there. Oh well. D did you steal the fruit? See, he did it again. I swear I jumped. Yeah, he he's... Oh my god, what the hell. Stop it. Still no sign. Can you go and look for a bit instead? Well, that's what I'm trying to do, although... Um... No, I don't I don't really want to stay here, to be honest. I'm, I'm good, thanks. Huh. Well, this is quite the pickle. Okay, well, I guess I'll go back up and see if there was anyone upstairs. Hello? Ah! Okay, cutscene. Stella, say something wisdomy. Well, it doesn't look like old Fatcuts is here either. Where the flap has he got to? Oh, but hang on, I've got the sneaky suspicion one of those fruits you after was here not 
until not long ago, and something tells me this Abbot Jack character might have gone and made a meal of it. I reckon you should find that important looking man again and ask him if he knows anything. Then get after that Abbot. Oh, the Abbot could be anywhere. I don't. Oh, God. The one guy we need has gone AWOL. Right, important guy. Ah, it's you. What, are you sure the abbot left the abbey after eating the fruit you mentioned? I see. It harbors some mysterious power, does it? Well... Of course, the Tower of Trades. Legend tells that is where the vocation-changing rite was carried out in days of yore, but now it's in... Oh, but now it is overrun with monsters. Okay, so it's the next dungeon. Under normal circumstances, the abbot would never have considered venturing into such a dangerous place, but... Well, if you say this fruit may have offered him, afforded him magical powers, maybe this curiosity finally got the better of him. Oh dear, I don't like to ask, but there is no one else. Could he possibly go to the tower and bring the abbot back? We mount a cloth are neither equipped nor inclined to, to battle monsters. Please, I implore you to help. Okay, thank you. Before we go, let me teach you the secret way to enter the tower. You must stand in the entrance and take a bow. Just one will suffice. Let me show you to do it. So this is the party trick. So now she can bow, which is kind of related to what the priest was saying, because he was telling us the controls of how to bow in a certain direction. The Tower of Trades is to the east of All Trades Abbey. May the Almighty watch over you and guide you to the Abbot. Okay, Tower of Trades, you say? Well, I guess we have nothing else to do than to find this Tower of Trades. I think he said it was to the east. It better not be to the west. Oh god, but this is why I need to listen to directions. Otherwise, I'll be screwed. Right. If we ever get there. Okay, so... Right, I, I'm assuming it's that. I mean, I know I can't exactly show you it. Because like, I can't point to the top screen. But it's it's this little island thingy. I'm guessing. I'm hoping. Oh, God. Right, is it... Oh, Slime Knight! I don't think... Did I show off any of these enemies? I'm pretty sure I didn't show off the Slime Knights. So, um, like I said last time, these enemies are quite good for grinding because they give you decent experience. Oh god, no, don't fall asleep. Okay, actually, I'm pretty sure Snappy already attacked, so, oh, please don't heal. Um, oh god. But we did learn some new abilities and stuff while I was grinding, so that was good. Oh my god, wake up. God, stop. You're always falling asleep on the job. Ah! Okay. Okay, I think it's pronounced coup de gras or something, but these are unique to vocations. I think Darren had at least five or six while I was grinding, but anyway, Ruffin Tumble increases evasion and counterattack frequency a lot. So this is, I mean, the coup de gras are more useful in actual boss battles as opposed to like these little grinding battles. So, oh my gosh. I mean, they look cool and stuff, but they're still... Yeah, like, after doing that, I didn't really do anything because I didn't get to attack afterwards, but... Darren's is a full heal on everyone, which is pretty awesome. So I'm guessing this is the tower, I hope. Yep, it is. Uh-oh. It's creepy. On tall. Uh, okie doke. Well... Do I go in? Do I save this for next time? I mean, this is a really short video, although I don't really want to start and, like, finish halfway through the tower. So I will call this an episode and not walk back outside. Next time, I will go into the tower and possibly find the abbot, depending on how long this place is. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.